Hello Booktube, my name is Elizabeth and welcome to BookBevel. Today I'm going to be doing my second episode of my How to Get Free Books segment, which basically teaches you how to use different websites or different means for to get free books. And this episode we are going to be talking about Edelweiss. My first episode we talked about NetGalley and I will link that down below if you would like to see that one. So let's just get started. Okay, so here we are on the main page of Edelweiss and all you have to do to get there is put in this um, URL code or you can just Google analyze um, and you're going to want to come to this page. Sometimes if you Google it, you're going to be going to the above the treeline.com page, but you don't want that. That's something different. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to create an account, which is actually pretty easy and self-explanatory. I'm going to go to mine so that you guys can see basically what you have. If you are a blogger or a, uh, or a booktuber, I would go to marketing. It's really the closest thing that they have to what we actually do. And then just put in the different information. It's really self-explanatory. Next, what you're going to want to do in order to um, re request copies for review is you're going to click this thing, this tab right here called review copies, and what and just search for the different type, the type of book that you want. What I usually do is I go to age and I click a young adult and it's going to narrow down my search automatically and then usually what I do is I go to publication date and I go with like the next three or four months. Um, it just depends, you know, if you're looking specifically for something that goes into January 2016 then click that instead. Um, click update and it's going to show you all of the books that are young adult that come out in these months that you've picked or whatever. But you can um, refine by publisher or subject matter or imprint of different publishers. It just depends. So now what I'm going to do is you can just, you know, search through the different pages that they have listed here. I'm going to go all the way to the last page um, because that is the book that I actually want to request and show you how to get there. So I'm going to request zeros by Scott Westerfeld. I've actually been wanting to request this for a while and I've just waited until I've done this video so I can show you. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to click request digital RC, which is review copy, obviously. So you're going to want to make sure that all of your uh, statistics are up to date. I have mine all of, um, all of mine up to date. I just redid them. And then on the bottom, unlike NetGalley, because on your NetGalley profile, you have everything linked on your profile, but you don't have that um, on Edelweiss. You're going to want to link it in the description of your role so that everything that you talk about up here they can get access to it down here and they don't have to do the work. Publishers, um, people who um, manage who gets review copies and who doesn't, they just don't have the time to go searching for who you are and all of your information. So you're going to want to make it very easy for them to send you the books. They don't have to go looking for all of this information. So once you're there, double check to make sure that everything is um, correct and you know some things just don't go into the um, you know they're marked as something that is misspelled but it's not you know Goodreads just isn't in the dictionary so anyway we're going to go ahead and submit and wait and see if I get approved for this so I have actually been approved for a book already that I have not sent to my Kindle yet, so I'm going to exit all of these out and wait for it to load so I can show you how to send that one to your reading device. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm going to click here. So once you've been approved for a uh, title, what's they're going to email you and say whether you have or have not been approved. And if you are approved for a title, then you can go to the... Um, the title here, go to download review copy, and you can either go to standard, which I've never done because I don't own a um, any of these, um, so I'm not really sure how that works. Yeah, I'm not really sure how the other, other systems work because I only have a Kindle, so I'm going to just show you how to do that one. I'm going to click Kindle, continue, and then you're just going to put in your Kindle email address, um, and it can, it'll tell you how to get the Kindle email address here, but I already know mine, so you just put it in here, send it directly to Kindle, and I don't know why it says this. It says Amazon will charge based on file size for this option. Um, 
when I first started using Analyze, I assumed that they were going to charge me money, um, but they I've never been charged anything to send it directly to my Kindle. So you just click continue, and then it says you are going to be receiving a protected file, you know, blah, 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 copyright, all that stuff. Click continue again, and it's going to send, send it to your um, Kindle. But that's basically, I'm not going to hit continue because I've actually already gotten this sent to me, and I don't want it sent twice, so I'm just going to exit that out, but you just click continue and it sends it over. So once you have downloaded a book and you have read it, you're going to want to review it. So basically what you want to do to review it is you click again this review copies and you're going to click downloads and it's going to show you what you have already downloaded. This is it, traffic, um, this is the publisher and all the information and you're going to click write a review and you know just fill in the rest of this information. Why? Would you recommend it and why? And that's basically all you do. And then you submit it once you start writing stuff, I believe. Blah, 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 blah. And then you can click Submit to Publisher. Indie Next is for members of the American Booksellers Association. And unless you're a member of that, you're not going to have to worry about that. But once you're done writing the review, you just click Submit to Publisher and then you're done. Now, I'm back on the um, Edelweiss main page to show you something else that Edelweiss is really, really good at. Um, first, you can browse the different catalogs that all of the um, publishers have been out in the last several months that they've done and the um, catalogs are a little confusing because they're meant for um, bookstores and other people who buy books so you can you'll see like different for example let's go to um, HarperCollins and I'll show you what I mean uh, let's see we'll click this one so basically what you're going to see is stuff like this, like it's a whole big rack of different um, books and stuff, or this one, it's like a Divergent series paperback mix, and it's just, you know, stuff like that that the different stores can display and buy. Um, this right here, they already have the glass sword, um, like stand, getting ready for uh, bookstores to buy and stuff. So. Yeah, so I mean, stuff like that can be a little confusing. Um, the catalogs are take a bit for you to really like understand the different language and stuff that they use. But I like to go to titles, and basically this is just just shows what books are going to be out in the next several months. So usually what I do is I go again, I go to young adult, and then I go to publication date. So if I want to um, make a video talking about my most anticipated releases of the fall of 2015, fall consists of September, October, and November, so I'm going to go there and click update, and I'll basically see all of the young adult titles that are going to be coming out in those three months. And again, you can, you know, refine by all these different subjects here, but I just like to be, you know, look at everything that's coming out for young adults. So if I'm going to do a video talking about, you know, my most anticipated releases, this is what I usually look at. This is the number one best place to go when you're wanting to know all of the books that are coming out in the next coming months. So I really like to use Edelweiss for that. You really do have to, like, skim through stuff that, you know, you're just not, um, Oh my god, <laughs> that you're just not um, really looking forward to. And I don't know if you guys knew about this, but literally I just found a Queen song, which I guess is going to be a novella for Red Queen, which is coming out um, uh, September 1st. I didn't know about that. I don't know if you guys knew about that, but I literally just got really excited because I did not know that this was going to be coming out. So that's what I'm talking about. I really like to scroll through here and see all the really awesome books that are going to be coming out in the next couple of months from publishers. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I've got for you for Edelweiss.